filming. Rather than filming this month's TBR, I am filming an UN TBR. Basically, when I was trying to decide what books I wanted to read, I realized there were a lot of books that I no longer have any interest in reading on my to read shelf on Goodreads, so I mixed them. The first book I mixed was Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. This was a book that I was interested in reading back in college when I had people constantly talking about it and recommending it and while I was in that setting I had the desire to read it but I'm no longer in college, at least not at the moment, and I don't really have any desire to read this book. It was really a desire that came on because of the people around me and those people are no longer around me. Another book that was next was A Long Way Down by, I believe, Nick Hornby or Nicholas Hornby. This is a book about suicide and I believe the characters themselves had committed suicide. It was the reason why and um, I just finished 13 Reasons Why and I was kind of interested in the topic but now like I don't have any more desire to read books like that, at least not at the moment, so that book got nixed. The next book I nixed was Grow Up by Ben Brooks. This is supposed to be a very dark coming of age story, and I don't even remember why I added it to my to read list, because when I looked at it, I'm like, this isn't something that I would be interested in. I think I was trying to find books outside of the zone I like reading, and while I still enjoy trying to read things that I don't normally read, I don't think this is something that I'm going to enjoy reading. Next, I nixed Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. I nixed this because I saw a lot of people talking about it and they liked it, and then I saw a major backlash against it and a bunch of people not liking it, so I just decided that, you know what, there are plenty of books out there that a lot of people like, and there there's no backlash after the initial wave of people that like it. The next book is The Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. Uh, this one went around book two because of the movie, and basically the consensus was that whichever one you read, whichever one you consume first, be it the book or the movie, is going to be the one you like best. And I just decided, you know what, I'd rather watch the movie because I'm more likely to rewatch a movie than reread a book. And um, as the time has gone on, I I still want to watch the movie, but I don't really want to read the book, so this is a case of where movie trumps book. The next one is one of the BBC Top 100 Books You Should Read, and that is why it was on the list, and I just decided I don't want to read it, and that is Bridget Jones's Diary by Helen Fielding. People, sometimes you don't have to read all of the things that people tell you you need to be read to be well read. Uh, there will always be something you haven't read, so make the things you have read more enjoyable. And the final book on this un-TBR is Crank by Ellen Hopkins. But I just realized, like, I don't have any desire to read a book about someone on Crank, even if it is written in a unique style. I just, there's no interest there. So basically, the theme of this is that I have no interest in these books anymore, so they have been un-TBR, I have taken them off my to-read list, because it is okay to not read everything that comes your way.